welcome to another Burgundy with Tweedy video. I'm in the woods today. It's a surprisingly hot day. I slightly regret bringing this jacket, but there we are here now. Going to be drinking some Vone Romane today. This is a 2018 vintage, and once again, I have forgotten the name of the producer. It is Domaine Beto Gerbe or Beto Gerbe. Beto Gerbe. Ridiculously, I have lugged an Indian takeaway for about. I don't know, half an hour. To answer the question, does Indian food go with Vaughan Romane? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I would normally have English sparkling with Indian food, actually. I think that goes brilliantly. That works really, really well. Just happen to be in the mood for Vaughan Romane. I don't know, it's a Sunday evening, something like that. I'm sure there's some rationale to it. Sorry, back to the uh, subpar stemware that some of you don't seem to like. Colour-wise, I don't know, it's sort of right in the middle to ever so slightly towards the darker side of that spectrum. On the nose, nice floral hints there to begin with. Quite a pleasant bouquet of flowers there. Not actually immediately, obviously, violet or rose. There must be some fruit in there as well. Redberry fruits. Maybe a hint of black currant there, actually. A tiny bit of plum. But it's nice, it's subtle, but it's nice. Nice concentration. There are tannins there, but they're very fine grained. And I quite like them when they're like that sometimes. It'll probably help with the food. Bit more of a cherry scent from the fruit character there, but also definitely a good amount of, fairly sure we're talking blackcurrant here, sort of Ribena-esque notes. <laughs> Possibly a recurrence of Vimto from the other day. And then those fine grain, almost sort of sandy, sort of very fine sand sensation of the tannin at the end. Yeah, I mean, that's obviously going to develop. It'll be interesting to see how that goes with dinner, which I'm kind of keen to tuck into because uh, I've been carrying it around for half an hour. It's probably gone cold. So cheers for now. For what it's worth, I promise this is not sponsored, but this is from an Indian takeaway. They, they have a few locations across London called the Tiffin Tin. And it is, I think, very, very good quality. I sometimes wish there was a little bit more range and a bit more variety, uh, but the quality is incredibly reliable and very, very good. All the ingredients are really fresh. All the flavor is really big and bold. And nothing feels like it's been sort of sitting around for days. Bit of poppadom, good old mango chutney. This is the main event. It is a paneer kebab. Look at that. <laughs> it's probably not focusing properly. We marinate it in uh, some spices. I think it then, does it go in the tandoor or does it go on the grill, the griddle? I don't know, but it's really good. This is the old classic Saga Lou. Look at how lovely and fresh that spinach is. That's definitely not come out of a tin. They actually call this Alu Palung. It's delicious, whatever it's called. And then finally, some Chana Chat Masala. There's a plane going overhead. Sort of chickpeas and tomatoes. This is very good as well. I would normally order some rice or some bread to go with this, but there's carbohydrates here in the form of potatoes, and I think you'll agree I've probably already got far too much food for one person. <laughs> Perhaps the most relevant question is how does it go with the wine? So, um, start with a classic pairing, wine and cheese. Not sure that normally includes paneer. I think they may actually make their own paneer within the restaurant. It's spicy, it's filled with spices without being hot spicy. Pretty punchy flavour in that stuff. Nice sort of charred edge to it, barbecue-y kind of flavour. And then we switch from that rich, spicy, indulgent <laughs> bit of Indian cuisine to what is actually quite a sophisticated, delicate sort of wine, but it's, um, you know, it's going to hold its own, I think. Wonderfully refreshing and light, and uh, I think I said the other day with a different uh, wine food pairing that was slightly incongruous, actually works as a little bit of a palate cleanser. And that Slightly tannic finish is helping to give it some grip. I don't know exactly what that means. <laughs> it's the sort of thing wine people talk about. An incongruous pairing, I will absolutely admit. I don't know what a classic dish to go with something like a Vaughan Robinet would be. Possibly not Indian cuisine, but I actually think that works really well. It's just nice wine and nice food, fundamentally. I don't think there's much more science to food pairings than that. This is completely normal, right? Sitting here having my chana chat masala with a bottle of Vaughan Robinet in the woods. Completely normal behaviour in a flannel suit, right? Everyone does this. That is wonderful. I'm really enjoying this. The Vaughan Ramane is 
developing much more of a cherry character. It was a tiny bit shy in terms of fruit character at first, and that black currant was coming a little bit to the fore. But I don't know if it's partly the sort of <laughs> the menace of this wonderfully flavoursome food that has forced this to kind of buck its ideas up and start presenting more, more buoyant fruit. A lot more cherry, still those floral notes are there. Quite concentrated, but refined and elegant on the palate. And there is that nice tannic finish, which helps the wine stand its ground a bit, I think. That's doing pretty much what I want from Von Romanet. Elegant, sophistication, perhaps an odd pairing with spicy food, but I think it works. This is delightful now, really, really pleasant sitting here, just relaxing, stretching out, enjoying being in the woods, enjoying the wine. This is the second time this has happened in as many weeks, but I actually think I'm getting a hint of chocolate there. I'm sure chocolate is not something that should ever exist in a Burgundy. The cherry has definitely intensified. I, I was seemed to be unclear at the start about what the fruit character was. Definitely much more cherry presence now. My favourite fruit character in Burgundy, without a doubt, cherry. The mouthfeel has become thicker, more viscous almost ever so slightly buttery. I don't know if this is just an effect of having eaten some probably ghee fried Indian food, taking on a much more sort of rich character than I, I thought it had before. More dense, intense, condensed, all of the enses, past tense. Well, I'm having a very nice time. Occasionally people walk past, give me funny glances. Only one couple have walked past. <laughs> Cheers.